Good evening. Can we please give a huge cheer for the wonderful, the one and only Akiva Soleimani? So Akiva Soleimani. <laughs> I know it's a lame excuse. Oh. <laughs> Is that, can, you, can you see? Yes. yes. Are, you, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll get out of your way. Well, hello, I'm Akiva. Uh, I was. Um, Just. Sorry. Uh, I was a maths teacher for uh, 40 years, retired now. Um, moved down to St Leonard's um, about five years ago from, uh, from London. From uh, North London, that is, not, uh, <laughs> not East London. And uh, I love it here. Now, um, you probably think from this title that this is some sort of diatribe against people moving down from London. But it isn't. It's something completely different. But um, you'll understand at the end of the talk why I've chosen this title. Right. So be patient. <laughs> right. Um, for when I was a teenager, I've loved uh, trying to solve cryptic crosswords in the newspapers and about 25 years ago now I thought I'd try my hand at compiling them and uh, it's been reasonably successful for the last 20 years I've had my crosswords published in a, in a magazine they, they pay me 250 quid each one so it's alright so um, I love cryptic crosswords and uh, tonight I'm going to teach you about cryptic crosswords, how to solve them. Um, now, most crossword clues, most cryptic crossword clues, consist of uh, two parts. Not always, but mostly. One part is the straightforward definition of what the answer is. And the other part is sort of the cryptic bits about how the, the letters are arranged or something like that but you don't know whether the straightforward definition comes at the beginning or at the end but it's never in the middle so what you've got to do your brain has got to look at all the possible interpretations all the possible meanings of each word in the clue and see what combination of those gives you gives you the answer now, uh, one very common type of clue in crypto crosswords are uh, anagrams. Now, loads of different words can count as an anagram indicator, like mess, upset, version, etc., etc., etc. Almost anything can count as an anagram indicator. But if it is an anagram clue, there must be something in the clue to indicate that it's an anagram. Right, now here's an example. By the way, all these examples are actual clues that I've written for my crosswords. Look at this first one. Famous Italian version of Vindaloo and Rice. Now do feel free if you get it to shout out the answer. Right, so what's the straightforward definition? Is it a type of rice? Does it mean famous? Is it a famous Italian? Well, version of could be an anagram indicator. So if you jumble up the letters of Vindaloo and Rice, Leonardo da Vinci, famous Italian. Obviously you'd have to write the letters on a piece of paper and jumble them around and stuff. But look at this other one. Noel Smith's car crashed. Nine letters. Well, crashed could be uh, an anagram indicator. And Noel Smith's car has got nine letters. Anagram of Smith's car. It's not Noel, it's Noel. Christmas. Right, look at this next one. Pasta for Rocky Marciano, the famous boxer. Well, Rocky would be a good anagram indicator. Jumble up letters of Marciano to get a pasta. Macaroni. Right, this next one, this is quite a subtle anagram indicator. Actress from Germany. So it's like from the letters of the word Germany. Three, four. You think of an actress with those letters? Meg Ryan. Right. right, another type of clue is we call a double <laughs> meaning clue. So it's not an anagram. Look at this. 
to horse and badger that's got to be a double meaning it's got to be a word that means horse and it means badger but badger could be a verb to badger someone so three letter word nag nag very good <laughs> Right, look at this next one. We're getting it. <laughs> don't eat quickly. It's the word don't eat and it means quickly. Fast. See, they're not so hard once you get the hang of it. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Goes round in women's clothes. Well, we think of women's clothes. What sort of women's clothes are there? Dresses, skirts. Skirts. Goes round. Skirts. Right, another type of clue is called, called a lurker, where the answer is actually written in the clue, physically written in the clue. Bird is displayed in science museum. Three letters. End of the word science, beginning of the museum, emu. Right, another one. Being bored amongst rotten nuisances. What's the word for being bored? Ennui. Inside, end of rotten, beginning of nuisances. Right, you get a reverse lurker. That's <laughs> written backwards inside the clue. But it's got to be an indication of, you know, going backwards. Dwelling amongst backward schoolgirls. That's right, igloo. Written backwards inside schoolgirls. It's a dwelling. This one you should get. Hat worn backwards by prize fighter. Three letters. Fez. 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 Right. right, initials. A clue just involves initials. Right, when I polish, everything starts to get clean. Starts shows it's the, the first letters of these words. W I P E. Wipe. Right, this next clue, this is very difficult. I, I, I found it very difficult to write a clue for this word. So I had to resort to this initial thing. Initially, so the initials, Kenyan is glad about living in African capital. Kigali. Kigali. Yeah. Right, sometimes clues sort of mix two different types of clues. It's like an anagram plus initials. Right, look at this one. Petula Clark initially playing Juliet, for example. Right, Clark initially is C. Petula C, playing is the anagram indicator. Yes, Juliet was a Capulet. Right, you get an anagram and a double meaning. Right, a cinema, weirdly, providing pasty. Weirdly is the anagram indicator. Anagram of a cinema meaning pasty. Well, is it pasty? Could be pasty. An evening. An evening. <laughs> right, next one. Flower settles nerves. Now, a word of warning when you see flower, they often use it to mean flower, a river. Seven. That's right. And settled is the anagram indicator. That's seven. Right, abbreviations. You've got to be familiar with a lot of abbreviations that are in common usage. For example, Roman numerals. Right, 100 is C, 50 is L, 10 is X, 5 is V, I is, 1 is I. 1,000 could be M or it could be K, 1,000. You've got to also be familiar with the NATO phonetic alphabet. <laughs> So Romeo, if you see Romeo, it would be R. Yankee would be Y. Golf would be G. Hotel would be H, etc. Right, sometimes they, the clues work in chemical elements. So if you have iron in the clue, it's often just that as FE. FE is the abbreviation for iron. Silver would be AG. Tin is SN. Copper is CU, etc. Sometimes abbreviations for states in the United States. For example, California would be CA, Georgia would be GA, Oregon would be OR, etc. etc. Now, I apologise for this. Sometimes I use countries' international vehicle registrations. 
So, for example, Spain would not be S, it would be E, but España. Germany wouldn't be G, it would be D, but Deutschland, etc. Right, they're also very fond of cricketing terms. So, over, out, duck, in the clue, would be the letter O. Bold or ball would be the letter B. Wicked would be W, etc. Now, there's some miscellaneous um, abbreviations that you should all be familiar with, most of them anyway. Student would be L, like L plate. Men or soldiers would be OR, other ranks. It took me about 10 years of doing crosswords before I tweaked that OR is, is for soldiers. Soldier could be GI. Sailor could be Jack, Tar, AB or ABS, Able Seaman. University would be U. Then awards. There are various awards, OBE, MBE, CH, OM, could all be part of the solution. <coughs> now this one is a bit strange. If you see the clue that says on board, it doesn't always mean this, but it can mean that you just write something between the letters S and S. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you, you often do find this in crosswords. Right? Steamship on board, inside steamship. So anything basically that's accepted as abbreviation. Right, let's have some, some examples of this. 150, encourage old party leader. Well, 100 is C, 50 is L, three little words to encourage. Clegg, to egg, to egg someone on. Remember him? <laughs> Right, student in total hovel. Student could be L. Inside a three-letter word for total. Slum. It's a hovel. Right, wise men with many years on board. This is one of those on board things. Sages, very good. So it's age inside SS. Meaning wise men. Right. Now, you could have clues that say oddly, or evenly, or alternately, or regularly, which means you count every other letter. Right, stop by oddly and cry. So what are the odd letters of stop by? Sob. Sob, S-O-B. Sack every other one amongst Manx men. Alternate letters, A-X-E. The sack. You see, you can actually work these out. <laughs> Rem when some, some clues, you remove a letter, but there has to be some indication in the clue that you're removing a letter. Right. Bent down, removing a broken anklet. Well, broken anklet, broken is the anagram indicator of anklet, but removing a, meaning bent down. No. no. Right, next one. Shade is enormous, but not good. Well, G is an abbreviation for good. So, a word for enormous, but with the G taken out. Huge. Huge, without the G. Huge. Shade. Right, substituting a letter. Governess putting one in place of a simpleton. Well, what's the word for governess? Nanny, putting one I instead of A. Nanny, simpleton. Right, this one's a bit difficult. Nazi street removed a shop front board. Well, what's another word for Nazi? Fascist. Street removed, so removing ST and sticking on an A. Fascia. Right, there's one word inside another. <laughs> Brave person is in bed with cigar. So you've got a word for a brave person inside a word for a bed. In a type of cigar? Very good. Shoot. It's hero inside cot. Obviously, with some of these clues, you, you probably have to get some of the letters first before you can work out what it's going to be. 
Right, now this, I apologise for this next word, but this, this is a word, the answer to this was a word I'd never heard of, but when I discovered it, I just had to use it in a crossword. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Mrs. Trump holds award for love of music. Now again, you probably have to get some of the letters because you might not have heard of this word. Well, who's Mrs. Trump? Melania. Melania, Melania. holds award, OM, being award. So stick OM inside Mel Melania. It's melomania, it's love music. Right, building blocks, <laughs> this type of clue. A kid is relaxed, two letters, four letters. Right, kid. What's other meanings of kid? Or to kid someone, it's going to be verb. To tease. So, a tease, at ease. Relax. Right, now this one. Adjust behind stove. So, think of all the different words for behind. All different words for stove. Stick them together till you get a word that means adjust. Different words for behind, bottom, rear, stove could be hard, range, rear range. Adjust. <laughs> right, next one. Child 10 has meat and spicy egg in club. Now, I make no apologies for this, this is my favourite football team that I support. Can you guess what the answer is? Yes, child 10, child is tot, 10, tot, 10, ham is the meat, spicy is hot, spur is egg, tot the hot spur. Right, you can get clues with sound like, sounds like. Unattractive sounding fruit. Fruit that sounds like unattractive? Ugly, ugly fruit. Right, so if you wait at this one. Sounds like deities, more unhealthy monster. So the answer's got to be monster. Sounds like gods, zilla. Gods and illa. Right, you can get cockney clues, which is basically <laughs> chopping off the H. So you I'm sure you get this one. Beer is healthy. Ale. Ale. Spoonerisms. Now these are very popular, but they're very difficult to write spoonerism clues. You know what spoonerism is, you change over the initial letters of two words or two syllables. Right, let's see if you work this one out. Composer to express disapproval of blouse, a spooner. Well, spoonerism comes at the end, so that's a crystal bit. So the straightforward definition must be a composer. So the answer is a composer. <coughs> to express disapproval, word to... Boo, another word for blouse, shirt, boo shirt, shuba. Right, dance with Spooner's carafe of beer. Right, again, Spooner's at the end, so the answer's a dance. So all the different words for carafe, bottle, jug, your beer could be ale, bitter, Jitterbug. Bitter jug. Jitterbug. Uh -huh. right. Now, the last lot of clues are just miscellaneous clues that don't follow any particular classification. Or just, just basically misleading clues. Right, look at this one. Two of these fibbers have trousers in flames. Pants on fire? Two of them? Liar. 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 Right. right, what are you doing? Nine letters. Now, if you're doing a crossword and you see this clue, well, what are you doing? Crossword. Crossword. Right. This one, mate must be found for man on board. Well, this isn't one of those SS things. Man on board, a chessboard. What, pi what piece was mate? King. You got, you got mate the king. Right, this one. Sports car, Romeo abandoned. Alpha. Alpha. Alpha, Alpha. Alpha Romeo without the Romeo. Right, I like this one. Visiting girl of three bears treasure one secures. Now, if you read it a different way, 
visiting girl of three bears. Goldilocks. Gold treasure, I one secures lots. Goldilocks. <coughs> right, this one. Short maybe, balding perhaps, beginning to turn red. Six letters. Well, it looks like um, physical characteristics, but do we know people called short and balding? Claire, Claire short, Claire balding, beginning to turn, first letter Claret. of the turn. Claret, Claire T, Claret. Right, why do cryptic crosswords? It exercises your brain, it widens your vocabulary, you learn new words. It's sociable, it provides aesthetic pleasure, can be amusing, it's just a lot of fun, and it keeps me in work as well. So, uh, <laughs> now, um, I've produced a crossword, especially for you. A lot of the answers are things to do with Eastbourne, and uh, John and Alison are going to come around and take it home, try and solve it at home. Send them in to me. The first one open, that's correct. We'll get a book to open. Now, finally, I'm going to give you a helping hand with the crossword. I'm going to give you the answer to one of the clues, and you'll see why it's linked to the title. So it's 15 across, 35 across. East London asks moving into seaside town. Moving is the anagram indicator. Anagram of East London Arts. So then it'll see. That's it. I hope you found this entity. And keep us on the morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>